Hey guys, it's Brooke. I am here, I am properly caffeinated, and I'm ready to talk to you guys about my plans for Camp NaNoWriMo April. So I've been going back and forth on whether or not I actually want to participate in Camp NaNo just because I haven't been feeling good and all that kind of stuff, but I figured it was probably a good thing to just set a goal and try and do it and like not put too much pressure on myself, but I wanted to do something. So you may or may not know that I'm currently working on draft one of a contemporary romance called TLL. That is my working title. You guys don't know what it stands for. It's kind of a mix between women's fiction and contemporary romance. It started off as women's fiction, but I'm a romance writer, so I kind of wanted to tie them in together. Right now, the romance aspect is like a little bit too light for my taste, so I'm going to have to go back and fix that later. So I have a lot of work to do in the editing process, but that's not going to come until hopefully May and we're going to finish draft one in April. So I'm currently in the middle of chapter 21 and that makes me at about 40k words for the whole thing. My goal is 60k. It's going to be an underwritten first draft. I usually underwrite my first drafts and this is no exception. 60k is a pretty good starting point for me to get in to do edits for uh, draft two. Also, I got this enormous matcha because I had a free drink at Starbucks, so. So then, what is my goal for Camp NaNoWriMo? It is to finish my first draft of TLL. I think it's a pretty reasonable goal considering where I'm at in my draft. I guess we'll see. <laughs> but I think it's super doable. So what does that look like in terms of numbers? So I've written 21 chapters as of right now, and I have about eight left to write which means my completed first draft is gonna sit at about 30 chapters. I don't have it like 100% figured out, like I, I know what's gonna happen, but there might be a chapter added in here or there, so it might be a little bit more than 30. I didn't plan it to be 30 from the beginning, but 30 is a really satisfying number, so I hope I can kind of keep it at that. I've plotted things out pretty well, and I know what's gonna happen in like each chapter, but it could surprise me, I don't know. I, I just went and I put like a couple sentences in each of my documents just to say like here's what's happening so that I don't have to think too much about it when I actually write I can just sit down and do it so I think I have a pretty good foundation laid out and I'm not gonna have to like stop a ton to plot which is really helpful especially during camp because you're you, you're on a time crunch like you have a goal that you're trying to complete so I don't want to have to be doing plotting and outlining like while I'm trying to write. So I had to figure out how these chapters, these eight chapters translated into word count because obviously the usual measure for nano and count nano is word count. Nano isn't super friendly for if you're doing goals that aren't word count goals, which is kind of annoying, but whatever, I'm fine with it for this one. I actually like tracking by word count. I mean, I don't know, I don't really know how you would track any other way that's as good as word count. Like I just, I really like using the word count. So. So my chapters typically are between like 1800 and 3500 words. They don't usually go below or above that. So I would say like an average chapter for me is like 2000 words. So if we're going by that metric, I would be writing about 16,000 words in April. But that just seems a little low for me, especially for all the stuff that has to happen yet in the story. So I'm gonna put it at around 20,000. So after all of that talking, my goal for Camp NaNoWriMo is to write 20,000 words and effectively finish my project TLL. Finishing the first draft, not finishing the entire project. So if we break this down even further, it means I need to write an average of 667 words a day for every day in April. Which, when I was figuring this out, I was like, oh, 20,000 words, like that's nothing. And then I'm like, 667 words a day, like that's actually, that's not that low. Like that's, that's enough. I don't know, I thought it would be less than that. I know it doesn't like sound like that much, but like it feels like a lot. Of course, like regular NaNoWriMo is a lot more than that. So I think that's why I thought it was going to be lower. I don't know. Gosh, I, no wonder I can never win NaNoWriMo. So that's just, that's the plan is to write 20,000 words in April. If I do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. I, I'm i not really going to be upset about it, but I do really want to finish this draft. It would be my third completed first draft of a novel, all of them contemporary romance and all of them around the 60k word mark. So yeah, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be fun. So aside from TLL, I actually have another project that kind of came to me very suddenly and unexpectedly. It just like snuck up on me the other day and now I'm in that like obsessive plotting outlining stage. You, you know the one. I'll tell you a little bit more about that and how I'm gonna fit that into Camp Nano as well. So it's a contemporary romance. I know everybody's shocked because I never write contemporary romance, obviously. Um, one thing that is different, it's like focused around a trope, kind of. I think it's going to be a workplace romance, which I've never written. I mean, I've never written a lot of things because I've only written a few books, but I'm really, I'm excited about this one. I think it's going to be really fun and it's going to be a nice change from TLL, which is a little bit on like the heavier side on the women's fiction, like 
side of things. But I do want to make sure that I finish the first draft of TLL before I get too deep into this one. Like I'm not going to let myself actually write this one before I'm finished with TLL because I know that if I start writing it, I'll never go back to TLL and I don't want to leave another draft half finished. To be fair, I've only left one draft half finished and it was very recently. It was Project Blade and it's long. It's, it's going to be 100,000 words. So I left it at 50,000 words and then moved on to TLL, which is almost done. So I do have a goal or like some goals surrounding this new project. And I think you'll be hearing a lot more about it in April. I definitely want to create like a playlist to talk about this one so you guys can kind of see the whole process through. I really want to talk about like in depth about how I plotted it and like what my thought processes when I'm doing that because I just I'm really interested in hearing about other people's you know process and like how they make decisions regarding plot and characters so I want to give that to you guys in video format as well so the goals surrounding this project are definitely a lot looser I don't have a name for it yet so I'm calling it audiobook romance for reasons that you guys don't know but I know so I'll probably just be referring to it as AR because audiobook romance is a little bit confusing since it's not an audiobook. <laughs> so what I want to do by the end of April is I want to have AR completely plotted out. I want to know every single detail down to, I don't know. I want to have every single detail of this novel plotted out because something that I usually do, this is my writing process. So I plot, I outline for a little bit and then I write and I write until I don't have any more plot and I'm like, okay, I got to stop and I got to figure out what happens next. I don't want to have to do that for AR. So basically what I want to do is I want to plot every single thing out that I can and have very minimal plotting to do like while I'm writing the first draft. I want the first draft to literally just be me sitting down and like writing uninterrupted and I want to see how that changes my writing process and like how it changes the timeline of me writing because the I think the reason that things take so long for me when I write is because I have to like stop and plot and then write and stop and plot and write like I don't want to do that with this one so I just like I don't want to have to think about the plot while I'm writing I just want to sit down and know exactly where it's going so yeah that's my goal I want to have the outline for AR completely finished by the time April is done and I know that sounds like a little bit ambitious but I'm honestly super excited about it so I don't know maybe it's doable it would be doable if I wasn't writing 20,000 words of TLL but I am apparently so so anyways, those are my goals for Camp Nano April. We all know my goals are like total BS though, so nobody actually hold me to this. Don't quote me on this because you know it's probably not going to happen. But if you want to see how it goes, definitely subscribe and like the video and tune in in April to see some Camp Nano videos. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!